Hello. Okay. You all right? Hi. I'm at the mall. At the mall? Yeah, I just wanted to look at the spray for the house. Oh, yeah, okay. Came, all right, cool. Came to look at some, uh, some but, jeans. Okay, okay. I forgot to tell you. How I are you? Am, I'm all right, I'm all right. Uh, used to the pain now. I don't got no to the pain. <laughs> all right, exactly. Yeah. Hurry up and throw everything y'all got to throw so we can just go forward and get over it, just all of this shit. Yeah. Uh, um. <laughs> What I was going to say was, uh, now, uh, LLC, they, you're protected by LLC, correct? Huh? What happened? Say that again? LLC, are you protected by LLC? LLC, yeah. When you got an LLC, you can't come out to you personally. Okay. That's what I thought. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. LLC, they can only come out to you, uh, mm-hmm. come out to the business. Okay, so And then too for them to sit there and try to make something um business that come on they have to show more than one victim. You can't say, you know, that you have a, a one bad business deal and call it criminal. You have you can it's it turns into civil. It's not criminal. Now if you have fifteen people that you did the same thing to then they can say, Yeah, that's criminal because they have a scammy, you know what I'm saying? But if it was one if you do one if say I say I um, dog walk, you know, for eleven and um one customer had a complaint, and they and they all had to prepay like a thousand dollars a month, you know. And so one person had a complaint out of the fifteen people. It's, it's civil, you know. what I'm saying it's not criminal. Okay. Oh, okay, that's what I thought. That's exactly. Yeah, what it's I civil. Now if they got a whole gang of people saying the same thing, and it's monetary. Then they can say yeah, because it's a pattern. But if it's one person that's got a, a bad deal done. And things get blocked the way it won't, or you know, saying he said this, he didn't come through. It's still civil. No, you're saying you're saying if that's with an LLC, or that's personal. Huh? It's talking about personal or LLC. It's a person. I'm not hearing you going out. Personal, 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 personal. That's because you out there in the streets out there. If it's personal, no, I'm saying it's just in a, it's just a business deal. Oh, okay. Like they had, they said on television, how they kept trying to say, oh, they kept promising people this, this, that, and other, and, you know, they weren't coming through with the promise. Well, how many people are saying they didn't come through with the promise? Oh, you know, you. if I it's one you. person, then it's, you know what I'm saying, it's, 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 it's just a, a, it's just civil. But if, if 15 people came out and said the same thing, then you could say it's, it was criminal. Right. It's the likeliness oh. will be criminal because you got 15 people saying the same thing, even though, again, too, yeah, that's still high, though, because when people be doing, like, when I watch American Greed, and all the people that be getting all their money taken, and they be getting all the millions and millions of dollars, right. and it's a pattern, which makes it criminal. But it's never one person saying it to make it, you know, criminal. It has to be multiple people, or it's considered civil, and you have to sue them for the money. Just like how they say when, um, when you have a tenant, when you have a tenant and they do damage to the property, it's, it's, if they weren't a tenant, it would be called vandalism because they don't own it. But because they have legal possession, it's civil. And you have to sue them civilly for tearing your, you know what I'm saying, for tearing your place up. You can't okay. come after them criminal. So well, I'm reasonable. Even though your act was criminal because they deliberately did it. No, I got that part. I'm talking about the, the charge of this guy, so I'm just trying to. Figure how that, mm-hmm. that, that. I'm trying to figure how does that make sense. That's all. Oh yeah. Yeah, that that's it. That's what I'm saying. Like if, if he's trying to say, okay, so it's three charges, three dates, and if it's one person in three dates, then it um, then again, like if it's if it's one person and it's three dates, then it's still getting civil. That's what I thought. Yeah, it's civil. Yeah, that's what I thought. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. And you could have had other dealings with him that went right, you know what I'm saying? But these three things went wrong. So if it was criminal, everything would go wrong instead of just that. That's just something that didn't pan out, and it still would be civil. Right. Of course, like they're saying, they're trying to turn everything into a criminal act because they're trying, you know, so hard for something criminal to uh, surface, you know. So they're trying to make any and everything you did a criminal act instead of what it really is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because that business, it's it's always a gamble in business. That's just what it is. You can give somebody a million dollars to build a house for you, something can fall through, and it don't, you know, it don't happen. 
Right. You know, and a person can actually lose. Not all the money, but they can lose a lot of the money. That doesn't make it criminal. Right, that's true. Hmm? No, 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 I was saying that's true. But I guess what I'm saying... It just, they have to prove intent. They have to, when, and on that, they would have to prove that you had a criminal intent for right. her to be a criminal. So they have to say, how, do, how can you prove that it was criminal intent? You know what I'm saying? How do you know that he was never going to do this? Right. You know what I'm saying? That he just took it and walked off like, hey, you know? Right. Or if he did what he was supposed to do and it didn't pan out. Or if this was supposed to be with this yeah, and it didn't, right. it didn't come together because this was missing. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But if all the pieces were there and his intent, I intent was right. not to do it. Mm -hmm. Look how long. We're talking about two thousand. Huh? But look how long. You just got a bad connection or something. Let me go outside. I'm about to go to the window. Hold on. I know, right? Sorry. I'm going to go to the window. That's good that you're out. That's good that you're out. I know. And that dog was just barking. I saw closed the door and she realized I was gone. I heard her down the hallway just yapping Dang. and shit. Shut up. <laughs> I took you off the walk. I took, your, I took her out to walk three times today. She get over it. Oh, okay. He smells like a lot of cologne. Your son didn't send me my ten dollars. I'm not gonna be real petty. <laughs> what? Yes. How you gonna text me, send me the money? I'm a, I'm gonna send it to you right now. You know, put ten on my thing, and then you call me and say the same thing. Then I text them. You know, last night with a smiling face, you didn't send a ten, and I left it alone, right? And to to this moment, he ain't sent shit. So, wow. That's cool. That's cool. Hold on to that, Ken, because I'm not answering the phone no more. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm done. Uh, okay. You, get, you, you catching on, Ange. You, you, uh, you, I'm, I'm, I'm done. You ain't going to burn me big. You can burn me small. Be good. Okay. 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 You ain't going to burn right. me big. And I don't, have to, I don't have to deal with your people to deal with you. You can deal with them on the other side. You finally getting it when I get, I don't get upset, but I do get a little angry when I say, why are you calling on people you know better? <laughs> Mm -hmm. but I, I no, because I like I like for a person to burn it, burn burn themselves out loud. You get me? That's why I call they and blatantly ask because what they'll say is, "Oh, you know, you could have asked me. I would have looked out for you." No. Why do? First of all, why would he have to ask when that's your daddy? Yeah. Like he did ask, and you you flat out try to turn him to somebody else. But and if you saying you paying, is he paying? He saying he paying the truck though. Okay, turn no, that truck not, again. Don't pay it. Hold on, he's not paying no damn truck. No, now come on, now you know better mm -hmm. than that bitch. Girl, I don't know. Well, all I say is, you. look, no, you ain't gonna drive it no time soon. And even if you get out, you're gonna be on the ankle monitor. So again, you ain't driving it no time soon. So turn that shit in. Let it go. I, I already told him I don't care nothing about that shit no more. My friend's man. Mm hmm. I just want to be the piss on the ground when I get out. Oh, that shitty time I, I don't want to hear that. Right. That's what I had a conversation about. But anyway, let me, I'm, I'm trying to get on. I get that part. I'm sorry for that. Uh, but I did tell you. I, I forewarned you. <laughs> mm, you no, know, so, so. oh, listen, I understand relatives. Again, that's why you, you see me talking to not that many people. And I got I got a thousand of cousins. It's a, it's a lot of us. A lot of us. So the reason I'm asking you, okay, I get it, I get it, because I'm trying to see, make sure my all my property was. They can't say it was in a criminal act because it's not. Mm -mm. Yeah, that's what No, I'm they can they can they can say anything. They have to prove it again. You know what I'm saying? They can put their little twist on it, but again, it's it's considered civil. Yeah, that's it's considered what I know. civil. Yeah, it's civil. I've been dealing with a person for years, and we've done. 18 deals and the last two turned awry. That's civil. That's go. civil. Yeah. If I've never dealt with you and I and 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 I took it and ran and I took another person and ran, you know, then that's you could say that's criminal because that's a behavior. You know, what I'm saying it's a pattern. So that that's the difference between something being civil and something being criminal. Right, and I've been on these folks since 2009. That's crazy. Yeah. No, because I didn't see I didn't see a dude on turn his mama in and on a lot so shit. Yeah, anything's possible. You can know a person forever, too. and you and you still could be collateral damage to their ass. They just feel like oh, I ain't gotta fuck with them no more, or I'm mad about this, and they lie and try to make it. It can try to make something say something that it is when it really ain't because they're still mad about the money. You know what I'm saying? And they say things, certain things, a lie to make it sound like it's criminal when they have to again still. 
prove it. Right. But I love you. You know? I love your experience. Oh, I love you. you love me? Yes, I do. I love you. It's just, it's just it, it, it's intriguing. It's intriguing. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. I, know, I know life. We know life, too. I've seen niggas tell on their mama, their, their grandmama. Oh yeah, I didn't see a person. Uh, yeah, I didn't see people like kill a person they ran with if that's their friend. You know what I'm saying? Murder somebody on on nothing. So anything is possible. Nothing, nothing, nothing is 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 a surprise. That's all I say. That's why again, I just stay away from people because wow. I'll end up in jail fucking around with people. You know, on some on some choking somebody else stuff. So I stay away from people. So people ain't right, so I just stay away. I don't need nobody lying on me. You know, I've been lied on by um, by Tamar's dad and my sister. They both try to send me to jail on a lie. You know, so I already know how I feel to be lied on and have to go to court on a lie. I got about five. My, uh, my bud, I, I ain't talked to him today. I just ain't feel like talking today. But, uh, I ain't feel like talking to who today? Really, I ain't feel like talking to my best today, the other one. Uh, I know he let Your me brother? No, 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 my best friend, the other one, truck driver. Oh, oh, your yeah, best friend. Yeah, I know. That's he, my best know, friend. Yeah, yeah, so. Did your lawyer come to see you today? No, it's just 5 o'clock. If he come, he come be back. Oh. Uh, six, seven, probably, maybe, I don't know. But, uh. Oh, uh, after rush hour. Yeah, so what I'm going to say is that, uh. Damn, what I was going to say to you? Yeah, but I know. You love I, me more than life itself. Yeah, yeah, I sure do. I love you more than myself. Like, like I said, two, two things for free or death, one or the other. That's it. I ain't got no 10, 15 more years in. Uh, I, I ain't got that in me. I don't have that in me. Mm-hmm. No, I don't. Mm-hmm. So, but I do like what old boy said yesterday. He said, you got to prepare yourself for the fight to be greater. Yeah, of course. That's exactly what he said. I like that now. <laughs> yeah. You gotta prepare this. You gotta be. You gotta bring all the, all the strength that you can muster up. Yeah. So I'm good at that. So I thank you so very much. Uh, you about ready to go to the mountaintop? To the who? What? You about ready to go to the mountaintop? Oh uh, yeah. All right. We going to a beach after all this shit is over. We gonna get an RV and go park at a beach and disconnect from the world. I put a little laptop on my knees for the job. <laughs> we about to let a simple life. Let's tell them, man. We, we live on a beach in Costa Rica, and I'm and we just live off the we live off the land. Simple, no worries. Simple and no worries. No worries. That is true. Mm-hmm. That's good that you are getting some fresh air so you can you can detox your brain because you have. Did you take your ass outside and get you some fresh air, sir? No, I'm going tomorrow. I'm, um, I'm going to court and then you I'm need to go court. every day. Yes, Deficiency in vitamin D is not healthy. You have to have your vitamin D, which is the sun. Okay, so what does so what does vitamin D do? Let me hear that part. Let me hear that, doctor. I'll Google it and let you know. <laughs> okay. Right. I know. It's, I know you need it in order to be considered healthy, and then you don't want bone density. The older we get, we have to have vitamin D because you don't want bone density. Oh. You know you all, Rocky. You pushing sixty, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I said. I said two things for sure. Free or dead, mm-hmm. one or the other. Shit. Yeah, that's it. That's my mind. At free or dead. Yeah. Free or dead. Free or motherfucking dead. Health and happiness. Yeah, I don't be no chain, old chain gang nigga. Man, that shit is embarrassing. Yeah, I do that's in my mm-hmm. younger days. That shit old with. So I have to stay focused. Shit. Yeah. Gotta yeah, stay a, focused, man. I got a young ass woman like you running around. I gotta keep up. <laughs> you gotta keep up, right? Because I'm 55. <laughs> I gotta keep up. I gotta keep up. You gotta keep up because you're three years older than me. Yes, you have to keep up. Yeah. Okay. Well, I can't. Well, you're three and a half years older than me. Yeah. Throw that half on there. Can't be like them old, uh, like that dog and then the kid tell you walk no c- Hey, don't leave me. <laughs> right, I get in a wheelchair. I'll be pushing you all ass because you know you got bad knees. <laughs> oh shit! I'll push you in a wheelchair. Yeah. You be all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
It'll work out just fine. Okay, well, go ahead on, Jay. So I can't yeah, because, you know, they just grasping that straw. Desperate. You got to put something on it. Let's make something. I don't know. Anybody, everybody. Let's get together and, and concoct some shit. Well, they, they okay. concoct. Okay. They concoct an name. Mm-hmm. And then on the back end, they you sue for every day in jail, and you sue for all attorney fees and for the stress, reputation, all of that shit. Yeah, that's a lot going on in Mm-hmm. Yeah, all of that. Yeah. Got another clock. Oh, no. The clock gets ticking again every time they keep me in here. I get it. All right. I get it. All right, they staggering them. All right, wait five months, not throw another charge on them. Okay, wait five months, not throw another charge on them. Yeah. Yeah. You can only make up so much shit, you know what I'm saying? They're going to exhaust, they're going to run out of alleged victims. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I appreciate right. everything. I appreciate everything. Trust me, I do. Yeah. Right. So the next play with the thing, the next movie thing I should do is what? I don't know. This is gonna be the nice vacation. That's all this shit. <laughs> Too old, but damn it, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? You gotta fight. You gotta fight. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it is yeah. what it is. Yeah. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go try to find a hundred, hundred K and get you a dream team going. Okay. Be like OJ, get you a dream team. Uh, uh, boy, OJ, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. OJ had to have a dream team up against state crooked ass, crooked ass cops, crooked ass prosecutors. He was like, okay, bet. Let's get the dream team. Yeah. Let's get the dream I'm, team I'm and fight these. Lying ass but, people. How, how long has huh? he been? About two years. He's trying to last, what, a year, two years? How long? 94 to 90. I don't know when, he, when his case was um, just, you know, uh, not guilty. Mm. I don't know. I know 94 is when he went in because I was, I was watching that shit in jail. Oh, you he was in the Bronco on the halfway. You about 21 then. Yep. Uh, no, I was 20. I was 23, 24, because I had already got shot when I was oh, there. Oh, okay, 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 damn. Yeah, I got shot when I was 23. So, yeah, I already got shot. Damn. I was the ideal criminal in jail with bullet wounds. What? <laughs> you won? Nah, I mean, I got, but no, I, I had went to jail, I want to say a year, I got shot, I got shot in 91. So, it's probably was what, yeah, 94 is when I was in there. I got shot in 91. Damn. This was 94. I remember, um, yeah, I remember it was 94. 94 or 98 when I was still. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I did put your uh, name, your name and contact uh, number for a case of emergency. Just in case of emergency. For the person, uh, for the public defender. So they probably call you. Okay. Me. Yeah, I did that uh, uh, Monday. So they probably call you. Uh, let you know. Okay. That that if this guy here don't do right. Um, but we'll see. I, I think he's going to do right. I just got to figure that part out. There you go. He's right. Gonna, he's going to figure that part out. Not me. Right. Gotta, yeah. He should be able to, he should be able to, um, connect it. Yeah. So. I mean, you know. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, just, what time, what time is it now? Are you going to come back at 8? Okay, I call you back uh, about eight. If I call you eight, I'm home. or after your visit, yeah, eight or after your visit. Okay, cool. All right, be careful out there, love. Be careful. It's hot out there. Hot as a firecracker. It's hot. What? What? It's hot as a firecracker out there. So be careful out there. Love you very much. It's hot out here. Yeah. yeah. I don't think there'll be no shooting on the Wednesday. I'm gonna go get, grab my stuff and go home. But All yeah, right. call me at eight or tonight. Okay, bye. Love you, bye. Like, like. How are you feeling? I didn't sleep with her. I didn't sleep at all last night. My mind was racing. Why? Good. Really? I'm backtracking where I was at and how I was doing and, and trying to figure out. All that doesn't even matter. It explains the situation and all of it is civil. If, 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 if it's not just a loss of. You know, the fact that, yeah, what are you talking about now? The big shit. I'm talking about 
talking about that big shit after you done read it to me and everything. Which one, the people or the pornography yeah. shit? No, both of them. Both of them. Well, they, you, okay, so the, the, the pornography, two things have to be um, divulged. They have to say what device they found it on first, and then the date of the download. Because all of that, you could see the date that it was downloaded. Right, yeah, right. All of that, but they, they omitted that. They they purposely omitted that. So when you're dealing with something of that degree, they're supposed to be a lot more specific with, on this day, this person downloaded these images. And on this day, you know what I'm saying, the images, because they're trying to say it was 34 images, but the four that they're trying to charge you with, they should have been more specific to say on this device, on this day, these images were downloaded. And these are the depictions with, you know, da 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 number one, number two, number three, number four. Right, right. You know. and, yeah, and then, then that other thing, that, um, that shit, I'm trying to figure that out. I, I ain't got to figure it out because I know the deal on that. I'm about to say, you ain't got to figure it out. That's, that's either if it was a, a, if it was, and don't, you know, respond. But if it was a sexual relationship, then it was a sexual relationship. If it was never any sex involved, then there was never any sex involved. But the, the fact of the matter is, it was an ongoing relationship. Only thing you have to prove on that um, situation is through your text messages and conversations, um, one, that the girl was never scared of you because that's what she's claiming, that she was scared and feared for her life, and that's why she never said anything because she was fearing for her life so all your text messages would would vouch to does this girl sound like she's scared of me and then her text messages you know if but, anything but I, won't have, I won't have any time for I don't think I get them before um, I go to court that's what I'm that's, that's the part I'm thinking about now I, I don't know because they don't come see you like that that's what I hate about the public defenders they come see you maybe they come see you 30 minutes on a fucking machine over here and that's mm-hmm. They don't even know nothing what the fuck going on if they come see you then. So that that shit fucks. Well, me. you're not going. Um, you are going to court for that one, I think. You are going to court for that one. The uh, and a theft by deception. The theft by deception is that girl. Right. That's which that's all that. Third. Yeah, that 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 itself is is a clown ass. Um clown ass charge because y'all was kicking it and y'all was, you know, in relationships. So it, it, all of that she's trying to say is because she don't want to pay that bill, but she should have made the claim a month when she got the bill that, in that January. The, that's not the one I'm going for. I'm going, I thought I was going for You're going for that? Yeah. Oh, I don't but No, I think that one's, I'm sorry, that might be that, that, that yeah, your, your that partner. One. Yeah, that's Your partner, that's her, that's with that $70,000 thing. Yeah, I'm going for that. Yeah. I'm gonna work on that over the weekend and I'm gonna get all of that like typed out and everything and I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get her email address today so I could send her an email on all of that and kinda like um because see you, you said you said that it happened on twenty twenty nine seventy nine. That's what huh? you said. No, you said the date on the uh twenty nineteen that that assault supposed to have been on one eight nineteen and then the second time you're trying to say two one twenty one. Okay. But uh, then I got I'm uh, I'm almost there in my head. Then on that on that one she's trying to say it was a two year situation. But only on those two occasions within those two years, it was forcible. It was unwanted, which, I mean, again, it, it doesn't make sense whatsoever because if somebody do something to me and I'm grown on the first time, I'm not going back around them ever again, period. I just, I'm, just, I'm not going around them. I'm going to avoid them. I'm going to, you know what I'm saying, stay away from them. You know, I'm grown. You ain't got to come around me, and I got to come around you. So to say that that happened over a two years, I mean, twice in a two-year span, and it only happened twice is weird. Okay, so that I, is weird, but, again. That, 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 que- that big question was, where did it happen? That's what I, I, I I'm trying to say it happened on in the coach, on in the RV. This is, this is in 2019? 
Um, the second time it says the coach. The first, the first time, time I don't think it doesn't say. It does have an address on that. Um, I have to look at it again to say. But I know the second time it mentions the the uh, RV. And then it said RV, but on that particular road, there's nowhere to park there. That makes no sense. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, all the all the pieces and bits and, and stuff doesn't make sense. But the big thing is. You know what you want to, uh, I guess, say outside of all that little shit. You know that she's adding with it is the fact that it never happened in the first place. Right, I know that. To part. even say that's right, the, that part you stressing. Don't tell that. The camera shit yeah, everything. yeah, that didn't happen. And um, period. And then um, see, that's why I be telling my son. You know what I'm saying? Oh, gosh, but he don't he don't fuck with nobody, and I'm happy for that. He don't have. But when I'm, his, his, whoever he date going to get a nice little conversation. She <laughs> might not stick around after it, but she's going to get a nice little conversation. She's going to get a good convo. Point blank period that you will not lie on my son. You're not going to have him hemmed up because he don't give you what you want or do this, that, and the other. Because that's us do that shit. I done dealt with too many clients in court with bitches getting mad because they didn't get no money or they didn't get this. And Dang. they want to scream. They want to scream this. They do that shit. It's so fucking common. So fucking. Well, if you don't give me this, I'm going to say you forced it on me. And I'm going to da 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 da. I mean, they just, like I said, it just happened to Chris Brown. It's very common. Very fucking did, common. Did they lock him up? No, he had the text messages to prove that the bitch lied. Oh. He had the text. He had the conversations with, the, with them. And the fact that with all the stuff that was coming out of her mouth, they was like, ain't no way. Bitch, you just told on yourself. And it was a good thing that he kept it and didn't delete it. But you can always, again, even if you delete it, the, the, the company can pull that shit. Right. So I, mm-hmm. I definitely, I definitely but all your conversations, right, all your conversations back and forth to her over the years, whatever, it's going to set the tone. And if it's an intimidating tone, then okay, I can see that. But if it's not an intimidating tone or threats or any of that matter, then what are you talking about, girl? If, if you, in fact, said that happened, then you, you couldn't have been scared because look how he talks to you. And you and you weren't living in his house. Like my friend Heidi was just telling me because she lived with this dude for, for a year. Me and her was just talking about it today. He wouldn't let her go nowhere. He beat her. He um he did all this. And I'd known him before she met him from the streets or whatever unattractive street broke ass dude. And I was like, what made you even lock lock up with this dude to even get abused and, you know, all the shit that he was doing, he would never let her leave the house. He just had her so fucked up. And she was 20, 20 something years old at the time. She was like, there was no cell phones. You know, I was in California. There was no family. I was in a house with him. They lived together. He would never let me leave the house. You know, and I had a dude like that too. That every, every time I left the house, he was in a car with me. Yeah, like he, I'm telling you, Man. I literally had to run away from this dude. He told me only way I could leave him is if I die and he wouldn't go miss like Chip, what the one you, who shot me. Man, listen, I'm just nice, but listen. And so I, I, I got away. He used to go to birthday parties where every time I left the house, this motherfucker was in the car. And when I went to work, he was downtown outside my job hiding. So I couldn't see him, but just watching me watching me like go home like all of that just stalking and so um i told her i got away from his ass well that's like i'm going to the cleaners i'll be right back and i took sydney and i was like come on sydney and we left and we never came back i said you could have all that shit in the house fuck you i'm gone i'm out and he was like i'm gonna spend the rest of my life looking for you i was like well good luck with that <laughs> so i'm not coming back at all you have all everything in that house because you had that shit but that's when you live with somebody so i get that aspect of it. But if you don't live with somebody and you're coming and going and running the streets and traveling and doing all this stuff, there's no fucking way a person's going to f*** you this year and then two years down the line, f*** you again. And you and you driving a car, you riding around, whatever, like you hanging, whatever, you calling them, you talking to them. Like that does, that don't make fucking sense to me. At all. That's At all. You're not going to fucking do something to me that extreme and say, I fear for my life because you said you was going to kill me. And here I am calling you and being like, okay, I'm coming through. Then he just threatened to kill you. Like, what the fuck? Like, and, you, and you're seriously acting like you meant it. That's why you didn't say no. By her saying all that, she's saying that she believed you when you said you were going to kill her. 
But if you believed him when he said that, and you got a chance to get away from him, why would you go back around him? He was in California the whole year of 20. You weren't. So he was all these places. So how are you going to try to call that you were scared for your life when you keep going around somebody you don't have to go around, that you have freedom to escape because you didn't live with him. You weren't a child at the time where you lived with your grandma. He was coming to your grandma. How, you know, the uncle that comes over and the little kid. That was the situation. And you being 19, girl, please, my 16-year-old granddaughter is smart as shit. So 19 today in this climate is smart as shit, period. You got a cell phone, you're smart. You're on Instagram, you're on all these places, you're smart. You ain't like back 20, 30 years ago when everybody was dumb because they ain't know no better. In this climate, 16, 13-year-olds know fucking better. They know that shit. They know better. They listen in to their parents talk. They're on Instagram. They're around other students. What these kids today are smart as shit. So to sit there and try to put, she was only 19 at the time. Okay, so Ann, 19, please. 19 year olds are slick as shit now. Yeah, I trust, I trust nothing. Yeah, well, I mean, you come in as stupid as shit that they even charged you with all that clown shit. But again, you're living with a boring ass city. That ain't got no nothing going on. They ain't got shit on their desk but a couple of DUIs and maybe some speeding tickets, a couple burglaries. So, hey, this is exciting. Because if, if all of this shit was in Atlanta, they'd have been like, girl, go on somewhere. I ain't got time for this. You had a relationship with him. That was a date. That's that's civil, if anything. If you were seriously trying to get your money back, you have to sue him civilly. Because y'all was kicking it. Y'all was doing it back and forth. Y'all had money exchanged between y'all or however that shit worked or however y'all dynamics of y'all relationship was. And now you're mad because y'all ain't together no more. Now you want all your money. You don't want to pay for this, that, and other. Sue them in court. That's not criminal. It's not criminal. There's no way that should have ever came out as criminal. All of that shit should have came out as civil. If they seriously wanted their money back, they could have attempted. Because you could sue anybody civilly. Anybody. I could sue you for wasting my time. You know what I'm saying? I could, you can make any type of lawsuit you want. Now, whether it would stand and you would win is another story, but you could sue anybody for any fucking thing. That just it is what it is. That's just the country we live in. So if they were serious about getting their money back or whatever, they were supposed to sue you civilly. It's not criminal at all, period. It's not criminal yeah, at all. Yeah, yeah. But again, no, well, she has to argue that in court. That's the thing, because, again, right. the judge doesn't read these cases specifically. They mainly, because they have so much on their caseload, they mainly just watch the arguments between both attorneys, and they rule off of that. Now, if you've got a weak-ass attorney with a weak-ass argument, the other one's going to mainly win. And that's why whenever the prosecutor was talking all of that shit, your attorney should have rebuttaled on everything he was saying. When he was throwing that, oh, he's on the phone talking about he's going to flee. Okay, well, you keep saying that. Did you bring any of these conversations to the court? Did you bring any of it? Because it, it couldn't have been to say that takes two minutes. So that's a 15-minute. We have time to listen to that. You keep bringing that up and using it as ground for a high bond. That right then, you, and the thing of it is, is he's trying to get your bond lower, and he's using that lie to ride your bond high or give you no bond. He's going to flee. He's going to run. You know what I'm saying? going to run on what? This little stupid ass shit? Ain't nobody running from this. this like, if he read that shit, like, again, like I say, common sense is so important when you're dealing with an attorney. And your attorney's claim he used to be some street dude back in the day. He used to be out doing this, that, and other before he went to law school and did all of this. And I don't know if that was a lie, trying to make himself come off as this cool dude or whatever. But, and I don't know, some some, some people that in the streets are stupid too. I don't know. Common sense ain't really common to some people. But if he had read it and kind of like put some type of sense to it, he could have argued that shit. Because all that shit is really individually, yeah, all that stuff is individually weak as shit. It's, like, it's all relationships that went awry. That's all it was. It's personal relationships that run away, run away with some money that happened. And I got my sister and I had money issues. My brother and I, you know what I'm saying? And so if, if it would never be criminal, it would be civil. 
because there's a relationship, there's an ongoing back and forth. Some things went right, some things went wrong. It would be civil. If I if I really wanted to get whatever my sister owed me, I would just sue her civilly. I would just sue her civilly. I wouldn't make it a, a criminal act. It would just be civil, flat out. This lady don't even answer the phone, so. She don't, but all I need is an email, so and I'll just shoot her emails because people tend to go to the computer before they go to the phone anyway. It's just better to, for her to read it anyway instead of her trying to hear a conversation and take notes. It's better for everything to just be typed out. That's just what it is. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, all your shit looks stupid um, reading it. <laughs> it, it. It looks like a desperate attempt to just fuck with you. And from a city that's mad, um, I would I would try to, since they're trying to say the whole basis of the probable cause was this stupid ass landlord and his nosy talking about window furniture. So I just suspected it was something going on. Like, like people, like, is it in my lease that I must have furniture? You sound stupid to even say that that was a reasoning um, to say it was rental fraud. I need the, I need the, um, the rental application. I need the payment. The initial deposits made by this person to your stating this person was your tenant, and you know for you to to, to make um, you know notice inside of the house, what was your reasoning? You can give twenty four hour notice to enter, yes, but what was your reason? You can't just go just to be going. You know you have to be in there for repairs. You don't just enter just to be. Oh, I just want to walk in there. What was your what was your reasoning? Well, this is different when you hit like we have police calls or screams coming from the house, an odor, it might be a body, you know what I'm saying? Somebody said a crime happened there. Those are all probable call reasoning. But to sit there and say he ain't paid or she ain't paid rent in two months, so we start an investigation. If that's the case, every eviction in the fucking town should have had a fucking investigation. Because that's all that was, was grounds for an eviction if you don't pay rent. Oh, it was some repairs that was supposed to be made on the house and they didn't pay the handyman. It's rental property. That's repairs are a responsibility of the owner, not the tenant. So that don't even sound right. Unless it's commercial. Commercial property is an all inclusive lease in which the tenant is responsible for repairs. Residential it's all on the owner. And he didn't state that he went in there for repairs. He said some other shit. He didn't mention repairs. But on the news and what Roswell keeps talking about, it was some repairs that was some bad checks sent of some repairs to the house made by the tenant. Do you even know what y'all that? I know, I know, I know you had nothing to do with none of that, but even talking about what they're saying to say why all of this jump started, stupid, stupid. And again, that is lesson learned why most black people stay in the inner city and stay the fuck away from the suburbs because bored ass Caucasians be bored and they fuck with the black people. They're not going to fuck with the white people because white people know how to make a phone call and make shit go away or get them fired. So they will fuck around with all the black people. That's what they do. That's what they're trained to do and that's what they get away with. Unless you are polit- politically linked to somebody, they're going to fuck with you. Yeah, that shit, that, that last statement, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't somebody. That don't even sound like yeah, right, exactly, at all. But, again, that's all into character witness, and then you can bring everybody that you've ever had a dealing with and have them write a statement to say what type of person you are and you are no way this, that, the other. And those are written statements. You have a couple of people show up to court, but you have written statements from people that, that vouches for your character to say that you are not a, abusive, disrespectful, let alone to say, to even go that far to say I'm going to somebody. Yeah, but in this climate, a lot of fucking women lie. So, it is what it is. Women lie. Women lie. Did you go to the hospital after this happened? Are there medical records attached to sit there and support what you're talking about if this is what happened? Who did you talk to and tell this? Did you tell anybody? Let's look at the text messages around the date of what this happened. Mm. Well, you said this, that, and other. You don't sound distraught. Matter of fact, sounds like you're bragging about it. That doesn't sound like you get me, because girls, one thing about girls, they always run and tell, and they just got some ass. They get on the phone, and they get to chit-chatting it up. So let's look at your phone records on these dates. 
and see what she was talking about. Hmm. Because if it was something that horrific that happened to you, she would, if it, you know, if all of that was what she's saying it is, it would tell in her phone records. Yeah. It doesn't make so. Mhm. Right. Or, you know, in the conversation between you and her or her and her or whomever, you know what I'm saying? You just got to get the phone records. I'm just, I'm just hoping I can get that before the end. That's, that's if I can get these folks come. I'm just trying to figure out how to get Okay, that. so all, all of that ain't going to happen that soon, but you still can file certain things and, 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 and call for, okay, even though you don't get that, you might have not, you may not get a hold of all of this stuff in time for this hearing. Certain things can be filed in between there and there to say evidence has surfaced and this is in support of why these these charges need to be dismissed. And then you go and you file the records, you file this, you file this contradicts what was stated in the arrest warrant. This contradicts this. Here are the phone records. You don't have to really wait to a trial and all that other shit. You could throw it, just like y'all throwing all of this shit, these hearsay and all this stuff that these people came and said, okay, well, here's my evidence that says on contrary to what this person is saying, so I need a motion for dismiss. And I also need discovery on the date and the download and all of that and the device in which these pornography yeah, pictures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm a, I got it. So, so do me a favor. I know you're busy. Could you please take that guy, call that guy, and say what it's going to take for him to open his eyes or just to take it? Who? Yeah. That same one said he ain't going to uh, take the case. He want money. I know that. I mean, a boy got five. So that ain't enough. He want 50. Straight up? That's what he said. He wanted 45,000. So did he read? What did he read? Did he read any of the arrest warrants? Hell no. He okay, never... so because the thing of it is, is your case, where it stands right now, if he was to come in on something like that, Five thousand dollars, he could do what need to be done to get all of that shit thrown out. Now, if you kind of ride the whole ride and take it to court and and do the long end, the long game, yeah, of course, forty five thousand. But looking at what happened and everything that's going on, I will call him. I'm not going to text him, and I'll give him another conversation about everything that I read and whatever that transpired, and see if there's a shorter route and a cheaper route. Right, because I, I I I know it could be done. It sure should, because you can't sit there and, again, like, you see what they're accusing you of, and if you got proof today that they're wrong, then you show the proof today. We ain't about to go wait four years for all of this. We're not going to wait two years for all of this. If I got proof today that what you're talking about is a lie, I'm about to tell you, show you my proof. There you go, because I know they got investigators, because I, I got to have somebody. I can't talk about what I can talk about. On, I don't need to talk on this phone. I need to talk to somebody. Certain thing I can tell you. But I can't tell you on the phone. That's, that's, mm -hmm. that can't well, be all of that is, I think, oh, yeah. yeah. I'll call the attorney and see about the shortcut version of all of this stupidity um, and, and try to get. Who? No. Okay. No, the second lawyer. No, he never called me back. But let me just see what this other dude is, is talking about. Because. Um, um, I don't know about that car. He's talking about there. Was, there, was that car paid for? The Mustang? Yeah, it paid for. It paid for. So why is he saying it's a car note on that shit? No, he's talking about my Bentley. He's talking about the Bentley. What he's Bentley? The, the black Bentley. My black car. Hold on. What, the Mustang is a Bentley, right? Yes. That's what he's talking that, about. So what's the other thing that you're talking about? Talking the about G Wagon is paid for. It's paid for. Okay, I know that must pay for because you did you right, right, trade right. traded. Right. Okay, so that's fine. I mean, everything has a paper trail, so um, that's fine. So that's paid for, and, and the, the Mustang is gone. That's it, gone. They repoed it. Yeah, they repoed. At this point, yeah, at this yeah. point, it's repoed. Okay, no worries. All right. So basically, the only thing um, you have a one minute remaining. And right. Our, yeah. So yeah. Yeah. So so yeah. So yeah. Because that's in the company name. So it basically state tell you what's going on. It's in the company name. Who's under the company though? Me. Oh, just you. Yeah, me. And Is I, it an LLC? Yes. Then that's not too personally. How could they take that? Thank you. That's what I'm trying to tell. They can't you. legally take it because the LLC doesn't doesn't affect the person thank personally. You, they thank weren't supposed you. to take that. Thank you. 
They can only take. They can only come after you personally. When you want me, to call you. When you want me, to call you back. Probably later on seven o'clock tonight. All right, uh, thank you. That's what I'm saying. Uh-huh. But they're uh, gonna try to get away with what they can get away with. That's how they roll. Yeah, that's true. All right. You know what I'm saying? Just like all this other shit, they're trying to get away with it when they shouldn't even charge you in the first place. Yes. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay, love you. Oh. Bye. Love you. Bye. How are you doing? How was your dinner? Oh, I didn't, I didn't eat. I didn't eat that. I couldn't eat that. Uh, they just changed the blankets out today and, and sweatshirts tonight. I'm just gonna eat my soup. That's it. Who you talk to today? Nobody. I went outside for 30 minutes. I think I want you to get it. Cut our yard short sure, because it's gonna rain. So yeah, it rained today. Yeah. So that's it. Came back in, tried to sit down for a minute, and. That didn't work, and then I walked around, and I finally took a nap at 4 o'clock. It's 6 o'clock, watch the news, and put that slop in here. That, I didn't, that didn't do it, so then I watched this movie called Deep Impact. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was good. Oh, you saw that before? Mm-hmm. That was that movie. Yeah, so I was watching that, and, and that's it. I said, I'm going to get you a chance to get you a nap and just keep my mind uh, occupied. That's it. That's how my board, my boring time is. And then the guy was talking about, they got something on TV about some guy who's a, he's a photographer, but he goes around kidnapping women and shit back in 77. Uh, so dude, I said, damn, I was in ninth grade. Then he said, damn, man, I thought you was in your 30s. <laughs> I was look like a young little that little apple here of yours. You what? I said you look younger with that little apple here of yours. Yeah, they got an apple head on. Damn. Okay. It's up here. Mm-hmm. For you, yeah, you're funny. That's <laughs> so cute. Yeah. Yeah. They get you in trouble with your little flirty ass. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever you want. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. okay I'm that's fine. Yeah. That's whatever you want to call it. That's fine. All right. <laughs> but I also thought about, too, that ain't going to work because um, I, had to, I had to get a title to it and all that shit and sign it over somebody. I, yeah, that ain't gonna work. I don't think doing get All you gotta do is, all, no, all you have to do is sell the company. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. It's in the company. It's everything that the company owns will go with the company. So if you sell the company or transfer the company in somebody else's name, then everything that the company owns will go with it. Okay. And I talked to my boss and I asked him a question as, as far as if it's an LLC and, and the police trying to take it because they feel like it's restitution for a victim and it's an LLC. And the person, not the business, is the problem. He said it depends on how how the business purchased the vehicle. It, you know, is the money can the money be traced to the victim? If not, if the money can't be traced to the victim, then no, they cannot take the car. That's 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 titled to the business. Oh, okay, I got you. Yeah. Okay. But, but I was thinking about all of that shit, and, and at that, like, like the argument with, with which would make sense because, like I say, all your situations were relationships, personal relationships, and that's like if me and you were together in January, you know, and before, and then in January you said, Sonia, loan me ten thousand dollars, and we break up in February, and I don't have the money back, and I call you and say, you know, run me my ten, run me my ten. You know, and you just keep blocking me or avoiding me or I ain't got it or whatever, whatever. It's still civil, you know. It's still it's still civil, even though whatever I loaned it to you for, whatever the reason was for that I loaned it to you, because there was a personal relationship. It makes it civil, even if you said I want to start a business, you know, and loan me ten thousand dollars, and now I want my money, you know, because you said loan me. It, it would never it would never be criminal. And then, and then to flip it on the other side, if you want to say, you know, that's the same thing as if I have a baby by somebody. Say, so me, and, me and Frank are dating, but I have Bob's baby. But I took Frank, knowing Frank wasn't the father, the child support court. And I took 15 years to child support, knowing Bob was the dad and not Frank. That's theft by deception, too. Sure it is. That's sure theft by deception. I yeah, I, 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 I took 15 you. years of his support. Knowing damn well he wasn't the father, so that's theft by deception. Yeah, I you know if you want to, yeah. So 
I mean, if you wanted that, that would be entitled. So I was reading again the definition by Georgia, theft by deception. And yours isn't that, even with the definition, doesn't match with what happened. Doesn't even match what happened. That's just what the closest they can say, you know, but it didn't match what happened. And again, like I say, your, all your situations were personal. You know, it was personal relationships that money was involved in. And the only thing they could do is come after you civilly. They can't, they can't say they were scammed by you because one, all of them relationships was a year and better. You know, I get, I get it. and it was a take, it was a give and take situation type of thing. You know, it was a lot going on. It wasn't just, I called this chick and asked her for some money and I ain't seen her since, you know, type of shit. Or, or I met her online and, you know, I, off rip, this is all it was. And he never seen, she never seen me. You know what I'm saying? And it's, and it's five people that's got that same identical situation and it's a pattern. Then you could say, you know, that that was a scam and that that was, you know, an illegal con. But if you got one person saying this and then another person saying something completely fucking different, which, you know, you can have that. You can, you can, a person can owe five people. I can owe my sister, my brother, my cousin, you know what I'm saying? I can owe five people. Doesn't make me criminal. It just makes me bad with fucking money. When you, when you come out of there and, and if you're okay with living a normal life, what? You'll be fine. Did you I normalize, you know, no red carpet, no TV, no, you know, okay. famous well, I, people. I, I don't have all that anyway. That shit gone. That shit gone. Yeah, I'm just saying, but that was, you know, what that's your it. life was. But. Yeah, that's it over with. Ain't nobody thinking about my motherfucking ass. I'm in the grave right now. This is everybody else. <laughs> it's so weird what I didn't understand with, okay, so this is where common sense come into play and 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 so sometimes a person you can think a person is is slick or you know up on this or this that and the other but they but they're not, but they don't catch everything you get me so when i read the report when you got arrested you wanted to call your lawyer and they asked you who was your lawyer and you said eric king you honestly thought that chick was your lawyer. You honestly thought she was an attorney. So for them to turn around and throw all that other stuff on that thing where she's posing as your attorney, if you get arrested by the police, you're not going to ask for a fake-ass attorney. Thank you. No one does that to the police. <laughs> I'm not going to be at the police and telling them that I want my fake-ass attorney. Like, that right there is common fucking sense. I'm like, he, he said it right there, like, I want to talk to my lawyer, and he gave him passcode, and he, I asked him who was lawyer, and he said, Eric King, Eric King's my lawyer. I'm like, right there, says it. He honestly thought that bitch was an attorney. But no I'm one gets arrested to... and call a fake-ass attorney. I was in here, like, right there, like, how, like, they so, this is what it's called, um, tunnel vision. They're so aimed at getting something on you, they're not seeing the reality of what the fuck. Like, dude, he just asked for this chick for his attorney. He honestly, seriously thinks this bitch is an attorney. Whatever whatever she finessed and got him thinking to have two names, three names, or however many fucking names, or whatever her story was, he honestly believes this bitch was an attorney. He got arrested and asked for her. No one does that with a fake attorney. I'm not going to ask for a pretend attorney when I get arrested by the police. If I know this bitch ain't real, I'm not going to call her. I'm going to call a real attorney because the matter that y'all was in front of was civil. I get that. But if you're in front of the police, you're not going to ask for a fucking fake-ass attorney, knowing that's criminal. You're not going to do that with the police. Duh. Like, right there alone. Why would I do that? That's, that's, that's like he actually, in his mind, she tricked him. I don't know what it was she told you, but you're going to have to explain. Don't explain now. What it was, how she finessed it to have you and Shirley believe that that bitch was an actual attorney. And, and her saying, oh, well, I've known him for 20 years. That's fine, but don't think that 20 years was every day for 20 years. I might have met her in 98 and didn't see her again until 2018. That time span is still me considered knowing her. I do know if I ran into her in that time span, I would have spoke to her. That's still like people I went to school with, I've known them. If you talk about today, 
I've known that girl for 15 years. I might not have spoken to her in 15 years either, but I've known her for 15 years. Don't think just because she said she's known me for 20 years that we spoke for those 20 years every fucking day. That means no. That means that's when I met her. I met her 20 years ago. I might have only seen her five times in those 20 years, which means I don't really know much about her. So for them to sit there and use that to say, you know, well, they've been only to 20 years, so she's got to know she's not a real attorney. No, honey, that don't mean that because you got to elaborate on my 20 years of knowing her. You don't have that. You don't have the breakdown. You only have the fact that I met her in the 90s or met her in 2002 at a, at a, at a boat party. You know, you have one minute remaining. You know? So, like I say, it's all like, and I'm, I'm just so surprised that your attorney did not have, like, me reading your uh, warrant just really, like, is like common sense. It's like a like a witch hunt. Like they have tunnel vision. Like they see that this shit is is so like civil, if not nothing. Yeah, it's civil in most cases or nothing really. So, but I, I'm just surprised that your um goofy ass attorney. Anyway, um. Love you very much. <laughs> you love me very much. Yeah. Sure. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. I'm just listening. It's fun for me to cut off. Just want to make sure it's safe for it. Fun cut off. Love you. Love you. I'll see you in two days. I don't to call you too much already, so I got to be mindful. Oh, yeah, just call me tomorrow. I had an interview today. I told you, right? Yeah, you did. Yeah, it's a great interview. Mm-hmm. You got I think I got it. You got I think I got it. Mm-hmm. Thank you for using Global Tellink. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss the next one.